In this video, we'll talk about the White House's recent initiative to expand the STEM OPT program and other initiatives to attract more entrepreneurs and skilled individuals to the United States. In this video, we're going to cover all these initiatives. So what are you waiting for? I'll see you on the other side. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our immigration channel. This is a place where you get the most up-to-date immigration news, immigration information, and everything else that you need to make your immigration journey less stressful. My name is Jacob Sapochnik and I'm an immigration attorney located in San Diego, California, and I help clients in all 50 states. And in this video, we'll talk about a new initiative from the White House to expand the STEM OPT program, as well as other programs to attract entrepreneurs and high achievers into the United States. The White House released a fact sheet that is linked in the description of this video. You can read the full fact sheet, but I'm going to summarize that for you in this video. So make sure you stick to the end as I'm going to break down STEM OPT, the O-1 visa expansion, and the national interest waiver, how to sponsor yourself for a green card, new expanded ways. So before we do that, make sure you subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell to be notified of new videos that come up every week, and also give us a big like so YouTube will be able to recommend this video to more people just like you. So by way of summary, as you know, if you're an F1 international student and you're studying in one of the STEM degree fields, you're eligible in addition to your one year optional practical training work permit, you can get two more years to work in the field of your studies. This recent announcement from the White House is going to expand the STEM degree fields into more areas. For example, they're going to add economics and computer science, mathematical economics, data science, business and financial analytics. That's going to expand it to more people that are entering into fields that eventually will lead to entrepreneurship and now they're going to be able to get two more years to work and build their ideas in the United States. Also, STEM students in the J1 exchange program are going to be eligible for STEM OPT expanded from 18 months at the moment to 36 months, which will give them more time to be able to work and build their careers in the United States. This new guidance also instructs UCIS officers to look at graduate from STEM degrees as eligible for the O-1 visa, which is a category of exceptional ability, but now it's going to be expanded to STEM fields as well. And finally, the National Interest Waiver category, which is normally reserved for individuals of exceptional ability to sponsor themselves if they have a special skill or they're doing something that is going to be in the national interest in the United States, that category is now expanded to entrepreneurs as well. It's now official in the USCIS guidance. So it's going to open the door to more entrepreneurs to apply for the national interest waiver. So let's dive deeper into the White House announcement. Essentially what they're doing, they're expanding the STEM program and more qualified people to be able to benefit from what they are studying in the United States. It's going to allow more F1 students and J1 students to be able to stay here longer and be able to work once they graduate. So now STEM OPT students can work up to 36 months after graduation. Let's look at some of the new fields of study that were added to be part of the STEM program. Some of these fields are bioenergy, forestry, human-centered technology design, cloud computing, financial analytics, data analytics, social sciences, oceanic studies, and financial analytics, among other. It just shows you that, that that expansion will allow more entrepreneurial students to be able to not only work after graduation and then once they graduate, either to build their own companies, which will create jobs for US citizens. In addition to the STEM expansion changes, there are some interesting changes to the O-1 visa. The O-1 visa is typically available for applicants that have exceptional ability. New guidance from UCIS explains how STEM graduates with PhD are going to be eligible for the O-1 visa if they meet certain requirements. This is very important because up until now it was very vague and we had to fight UCIS with very lengthy requests for evidence to convince them that our clients, graduate of STEM, qualify for the O-1 visa. Finally, there's some clear guidance for entrepreneurs that graduate with STEM degrees who are pursuing their own businesses, who are starting companies, who are entrepreneurs to apply for the National Interest Waiver, specifically as entrepreneurs. It's going to make it easier a little bit for those who graduate with STEM degrees and have clear ideas that can benefit the United States to apply for the National Interest Waiver. So it's really exciting because it's going to give a boost to our economy and it's going to send a clear message for entrepreneurs that they are welcome in this country and they're eligible for these visas. So to summarize, this is good news. This is good news for international students. It's good news for graduates who are looking for jobs and they have more time now to work on their OPT 
work permits while they are looking for a new job or planning to start their companies. And finally, this is amazing news for entrepreneurs who want to apply for O-1 visas and for the National Interest Waiver. Now it's going to be a little bit easier to apply for these visas and also to deal with UCIS explaining them why our applicants qualify. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, if you need my help with any of these topics, if you're applying for a job, if you're applying for a National Interest Waiver, if you're applying for an O-1, make sure to text me right here, 619-483-4549. I'm here for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.